I hit the pattern cell. I hit the pattern cell. Guess what? Your girl hit the pattern cell. Did you? Cause I did. And I'll be sharing with you what I picked up during the Simplicity 199 pattern cell over the weekend. So if that's some content you would like to see, please continue to watch. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Designs. And in this video, I'll be sharing with you of those patterns that I picked up that were both new look and simplicity patterns. Now, before we get started, and if you are new to the channel, welcome. Hello, ciao, guten tag, aloha, hola, konnichiwa, waguan, sambanani, salon, bonjour, tarve. If you're returning, you guys know what to do. Quick snack, something to drink, come on back so we can go ahead and get into this video. Now, in order to keep this video short, sweet, and to the point, give you all the deets and the news that you could use on this video, let's not delay and get right on into it. So let's do it. All right, so I picked up, I wanna say about six, five, five or six um, new look patterns, and I think it's about 14 simplicity patterns, right? It's on the thumbnail. <laughs> But let's go ahead and first talk about the new look patterns and I'm gonna show, show you what I picked up and where I'm gonna be making these um, and all that good stuff and then get you over to the simplicity patterns, all right? So let's start with the new look patterns. So first things first, and I'm gonna put up all the pattern pieces for each pattern like I have normally been doing. So we're gonna continue that process as well, all right? So first things first, let's talk about new look 6766. Now. If you remember when I did the video, and I'll put it up on the screen here, um, when I did the video, new look, new 10 um, for a new month, it was a video talking about like easy to sew patterns that are beginner friendly approved patterns for new look. This pattern was featured in it. I did not have it in my stash. So I went out and picked it up It's 6766. And this one is basically a no notion pattern. So it's a no notion pattern alert. Now, if you do view A, you will need some um, double fold bias tape because it is sleeveless, but the other ones you will not need any notion whatsoever. So that's why it's easy to sew. Love this one and I plan on sewing this one up hopefully by the summertime. But once again, it's 6766. Moving over to the next one, it's an older pattern and, and all the new look patterns I picked up for $1.99, just FYI, including the two that I'm gonna show you. So the next one is 6414. This one right here. Now this one I picked up because I like what the model is wearing on this pattern. Now this pattern is also easy to sew as well. Now for this one, it is not a no notion pattern, but you will need some elastic for view A and a button. And then view B, you will need three, three eighths inch button as well as some elastic um, for that one as well. So I like view C, but I also really like view B on this pattern. But once again, it's new look 6414. The next new look pattern that I'm gonna share is 6325, this one right here. Now, this one does remind me of a pattern that I already have, 6742, new look 6742, did a sew along for it. I'll put it up so you're able to see that. It reminds me of that one, but this one is a little different. I like the fact of how, where the pockets are. I like the asymmetrical hemline and view A as well. It is an easy to sew pattern. Um, in terms of notions, this one says that you will need a snap. However, view A and B, you need a button. Um, and then view C, you need two one and one fourth inch buttons as well. So it looks like it could be potentially a crossover between New Look 6742, as well as the Simplicity pattern I did a sew along for, which I believe that pattern is Simplicity 9486. I'll put it up on the screen so you're able to see that. So it could be a mixture of the two in terms of view A and view B, all right? Um, but I like this pattern, so I went ahead and picked it up. Uh, 6325 is the number. Let's go ahead and get over to the next pattern. So the next pattern, I have a full sew along for this one. I did this as part of the business wardrobe series. And before you ask me, when am I bringing that back? We'll see, all right? <laughs> but um, it's New Look 6697, this one right here. 
The reason why I picked it up is because I cut a side, you, I cut this pattern out about two years ago, okay? I wanted a fresh new copy simply because I lost weight and the skirt doesn't fit, okay? It's a little too big and then the top is a little too small. Uh, I don't know, don't ask me. In the uh, bust area, it's not like super duper small, but I would like to lengthen the top part as well for this shirt. But it, once again, it's new look, $66.97. Um, in terms of this one, view A, you need at least four buttons, and then view B, you need a, an invisible zipper. Easy to sew, I have a full sew along on the uh, channel. I'll drop it in the description box below, as well as on the end screen. Once again, it's $66.97. Moving over to the next one. Now, this one, if you guys don't remember when I literally was upset about this pattern, okay? So this pattern is 67.49. This pattern is also, I believe, McCall 75.49. It's been reissued into 67.49. So the original pattern that I picked up, it did not have, it had this, but on the inside of the instructions was a complete different pattern. It was the old New Look 6749. Well, one thing that I have said, while you're in Joann's, make sure you look at the instructions as well as the pattern pieces. Reason being is because I just happened to go over to this pattern and notice that Simplicity took all of them off the shelf and redid it. Reason being is because now you see that the pattern instructions now match the actual envelope as well as the uh, tissue paper now matches match what's on the envelope. So if you do not have 7549, McCall 7549, you can now get this pattern, New Look 6749, and this one right here, all right? And I know, I think it was uh, Chris from Unsocial who just sewed up this pattern, I wanna say sometime, I wanna say about two, three weeks ago. So this would be a good one to do as well, all right? I love it, I love it, I love it. So I plan on doing this one for the summertime. But once again, it's $67.49. Now those are all the new look patterns that I picked up. Let's go ahead and get into the Simplicity patterns that I picked up. All right, so I picked up the new Simplicity early spring 2024 patterns. However, I did pick up some old Simplicity patterns as well. So let's go ahead and get into the new ones first and then I'll sh share the other ones that I picked up. So the first one, no particular order, all right? First one is 9886. Now, this one is part of hashtag make9 2024, a dress that I plan on making to put as part of that collection. So you guys will be seeing me sew this dress up pretty soon. I'm kind of like working on what I want to, when I want to sew this next week or the week after, but I plan on working on this one very, very soon. Um, I plan on color blocking it. I have fabric for it as well. I have it in three shades of like a, um, I'm not going to tell you the color, but I have three shades, uh, that I want to do in like this dark reddish color. I just said, I wasn't going to tell you, but it's a dark reddish color. We're gonna hope that I don't change my mind because y'all know my board for Make 9 2024. The first board is red and pink. So it's gonna be some form of a red and pink going on right here. I have the fabric, it looks good together. I took a picture with the pattern as well um, to see if it was go pair well. And it looks like it's gonna be good. Um, but this one is 98.86. You guys already know I talked about this during the Simplicity Early Spring 2024 drop, all right? So I'll put all the pattern pieces up on the screen. For that, this one right here, um, the only thing that you're gonna need is a zipper and some single fold bias tape for view A and view B. If you do view C, it has sleeves, so you're not gonna need the single fold bias tape, but you will need a invisible zipper, all right? It's an average to sew pattern, it's 98.86. Next pattern is 98.97, Norris Dantefort. A uh, pattern for this oversized sweater. You guys know I put this in almost every single collection, so that's why I went ahead and picked it up. 98.97. Next pattern is 9908. All right, 9908. It's just a bag pattern. Um, I like the fact that I could actually use this as an overnight bag is what I'm looking at, you know, to do for this one. I'm hoping, I know it's easy to sew. I'm hoping that, you guys know I took my duffel bag with me to DC. That pattern was uh, Simplicity 9814 that I did for Vlogmas. Um, back in December, 
it is super roomy. So I'm gonna see if I could use this pattern um, and do a bag, but have this bag as kind of like toiletry type bag or something like that. Um, you could do a cosmetic case for a toiletry bag as well. But once again, this one is 9908. Next pattern is Mimi G 9894. So I picked this one up because I like the so-called bralette situation that's going on um, right here. This pattern reminds me of a pattern that she dropped before for the top bodice area. Um, I don't remember the pattern number. I want to say it's like 8394 or something like that. Um, and then it was like kind of recreated again. I'll put the picture up and she did like a skirt, a A-line skirt with a with a uh, slit, slit down the middle. So it was super cute, super dope. I figured that I would definitely, I picked it up for the bralette, honestly. However, if I make the skirt, I will probably make the skirt to my knees. This one right here is too short. I wouldn't be able to wear it anywhere. And then this one is way too long for my liking. All right, but once again, it's 98, 94. But I do have plans to do at least the bralette, probably from for like a vacation wardrobe in the summertime. All right, moving over to the next pattern. 98, 96, I am super excited about this pattern. This pattern definitely had to walk out the store with me. You guys remember when I did the drop, I talked about how I did a quilted jacket for myself as well, well as my daughter for the Disney African Princess collection back in 2021. Now this one is not completely 100% quilted like that jacket. This one is only quilted like kind of like on the sleeves, I believe. Kind of like the shoulder to like mid calf is um, quilted. But that's what I plan on doing. I love this pattern. I am going to be making this pattern pretty, pretty soon. All right. But once again, it's 98.96. Next pattern is 98.93, which is Mimi's Kate pattern that came out. Um, D from Patterns by D did a, she actually did this for DC Frocktails. She also have a, she did this on live a few weeks ago as well. So I'll drop that in the description box below. So you're able to go to her channel and see that video as well. Once again, it's 9893 Mimi G's Cape. Also, um, Lorena at So Lorena on Instagram. She did this cape as well. I'll put her name up on the screen. You can also go to So uh, Lorena to see her nice version of this one. Um, I'm not sure if it was part of her hashtag make nine 2024, but she sold this cape up and look amazing in it. Thank you, Lorena. Um, but it's 9893. Next pattern is 9892. Yes. Now you guys know one thing that I said I was going to be focusing on a lot this year would be pants, 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 pants. A lot of pants this year simply because I feel like I have done a top series. I have done a dress series. I have done a skirt series. I have not, I have done a pant series, but I only made four that year. And I think that was 2022. So I'm going to focus on doing a lot of pants this year. Don't know how many I'm going to do. I'm not doing necessarily like a pant series. I'm doing more like a make nine collection um, for this year is like a lot of it's going to fit into my make nine board, but you know, I'm going to have some onesies and twosies here than there. So just be on the ride with me, the journey with me. All right. But this one is 98, 92. Super excited about that. I know you guys have asked me about McCall's 8408 doing a sew along for it. I might do one for this one, but before you ask, what did I do? I sew along for this pattern. I'm going to say, I don't know. It all depends on how my schedule looks. I'm not gonna promise you guys anything. I stopped promising you guys that I'm gonna do something. It's just basically how my schedule look, all right? 98, 92. Next pattern is 98, 91. Now I was on the fence getting this one. However, I seen a skirt in Walmart exactly like this pattern. So I was like, mm, I know exactly what to do. <laughs> do this pattern and do a graphic t-shirt and some tennis shoes. Mm, switch out those tennis shoes for some heels. Mm, another look. Switch out those uh, heels for some wedges. Mm, another look. Okay, like don't sleep on this pattern. But once again, it's 98, 91. And for this one, you will need some, of course, buttons and snaps and stuff like that for the cargo style pockets. All right. But this one is 98, 91. Next pattern is 98, 89. This one right here. 
This one I picked up because it would be a super simple work top that I could do really relatively quickly. So I do have plans to do this one this upcoming uh, spring, early spring, spring. So I will be working on this one pretty soon. All right, but it's $98.89. Next pattern is 98.85. This one right here. Now, before you say, hey, Rochelle has these cutouts. Um, everything doesn't have to have a cutout. You can hack the pattern to not have that cutout. I like the cutout. I think this would be gorgeous um, for me to do because many frock tails are coming up in the month of April, May, and June. Um, so I could see myself doing that. I could do this dress and wear it as a sexy date night too. So I can see this for many different things. Don't sleep on the cutouts sometimes. All right. Um, I'm not saying let everything hang out, but just a little, I will probably close it up a little bit and just have a little bit of a pickaboo. All right. But this is 98.85. Next pattern is 98.88. Boom, boom, boom. Now I like this pattern because it has a little bit of a pickaboo in the back. Um, if you look at the line art in the back. So that's what I'm here for. That's what I like. I plan on color blocking it, but the color block that I'm thinking of is using like either an Ankara print or a subtle print to kind of do this look of view C, but I'm not doing view C because the skirt is si simply too long for me. I'm only five, five. I will be swallowed in that skirt. All right. So I plan on doing view B, but color block it kind of like you see and just have a solid color down the placket and the um, upper and lower collar area and then have a print. Or I might do just kind of like, I might do two. And the reason why is because I could do it as a print and then just have um, solid around the placket area as well as the collar and then do a solid one and have the print, some type of print along the placket and the collar area. So I probably will end up doing two for this pattern. It's 98.88. Moving over to the next one. Now, those are all the new patterns that I picked up, but I also picked up four patterns that I already have, but I picked it up again. First thing first and first one is 97.07. You guys know that this is one of my favorite patterns. And the reason why I picked it up is because the other pattern I have made three times already. All right, you guys know I made it in a baby blue, which I will put up on the screen. I actually, you guys haven't seen it simply because it's just a solid color and I will be putting it in a wardrobe that will be coming up. I'm not gonna tell you what other colors I have made with this pattern, but I have made two other colors with the pattern, this pattern, and I needed a fresh new copy, okay? Now, I'm gonna trace the pattern pieces moving forward because I'm gonna keep this, this copy together, okay? But this is 9707, all right? The other pattern that I picked up also, I already have in my stash, is Mimi G's 9749. Now, I made this one when I collaborated with Sarah from Learning So Much. I collaborated with her both. I have collaborated with Sarah like three times. So the first time I collaborated with Sarah from Learning So Much was back in 2022. We collaborated on a teacher's edition because you guys know I was a teacher. So I did this pattern. I did it in this lovely yellow linen. I'll put it up so you're able to see that. Um, and it fits really, really good. However, on the jacket, I felt like I could have made that a little bit bigger to where it's not tight on the boob area because it was just a tad bit too tight for me. All right. But I still wear it. I just wear it as an open blazer. Um, the pants doesn't get a lot of wear because it's yellow, okay? <laughs> um, but I wanna do it again um, in a linen again. So that's why I picked up a fresh new copy. Simplicity, uh, I'm sorry, Simplicity 8749, all right? And moving over to the last pattern that I picked up during the Simplicity sale, um, it's 8177. Now you guys know I have done this pattern, the blazer, I'm sorry, the vest I have done five times. So I made it for a friend in an orange moon um, fabric, which I don't know if I have any uh, pictures of that. I have also made it in a white one where I did the Ankara challenge with uh, Marika from Hey Marika Mitchell. I have made this one in a blue when I did the Black Panther one. I gave that one to my sister because she kept bugging about the whole two piece set. Um, and then I did it again and I don't have a picture of this one, 
but I did it again um, in like a purple fabric. All right, so I have made the actual vest four times. Now, regarding the pants, I have made the pants three times. So I did it for the blue. I did it for um, this. I did it when I did a collaboration with So jo Joey, uh, from Joey, from So Joey, um, when we kind of did it kind of like a, a recreate the look of a 90s sitcom. So that was last summer in 2023. So I did it then and then I did it again in just a plain solid fabric. I did it as kind of like a test muslin just to test the fit because if you guys remember when I did the Black Panther video, I talked about how it was too tight on the waist. So I enlarged the waist just for me to take the waist amount off because I lost weight. So I tested it with a solid color and it's a wearable muslin. It's in a green. Um, and then I just went ahead and did it in a print, the print that I want. Now I will be making those pants again. It is one of my favorite patterns for wide leg pants. All right, but this is 81.77. All right, well, those are all the patterns that I picked up during the Simplicity sale over the weekend. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if this video was educational, inspiring, and fun, do not forget to hit that like button, subscribe button, also smash that notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So I'll catch you in the next video. And as always, keep sewing. They hate when you elevate The second of losses, I'm handing them out Yeah, I had to go delegate It feel like I'm floating, I'm lost in the moment I swear I could levitate